Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. PowerPoint is an easy-to-use program that lets you design your own presentations. You can use it to create slideshows, presentations for work, multimedia projects, and just about anything else you can imagine. When you open PowerPoint, there's a good chance you'll be taken to the Start screen first. From here, you can access recent presentations or create something new, either from scratch or from one of the built-in themes. In this example, we'll click Blank Presentation. Next, you might want to take a minute to explore the interface and make sure you know your way around. Why don't we begin with the ribbon, which is the collection of tools and features at the top of the screen. The ribbon is divided into tabs like Design, Insert, and Home, so you can easily find what you're looking for. There are also commands on each tab that have been organized into groups. For example, if you look closely at the font group, you'll find it has everything you need to work with text, including options like bold, italics, font color, and size. Some groups even have an arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click to view even more commands. If you ever feel like the ribbon is taking up too much space, you can always hide or minimize it. All you have to do is click the arrow in the upper right corner, then choose the option you want. Also in the upper right corner is a place where you can access your Microsoft account. Here you can update your photo, manage your account settings, or switch to a different account altogether. For help working with PowerPoint, take a look at the Tell Me feature. It works just like a regular search bar, allowing you to quickly find the right tool or command. All you have to do is enter what you want, and you'll be given a list of options. You can use the command directly from the menu without having to find it on the ribbon. You can even customize your copy of PowerPoint to make certain commands more convenient. Take the Quick Access toolbar in the upper left corner. This area gives you access to frequently used commands like Save and Undo no matter where you are in the ribbon. To add more commands, just click the tiny arrow next to the toolbar, then choose the ones you want. I'm going to add New and also Quick Print because I use both of these commands pretty frequently. Now let's take a look at the presentation itself. In this example, I've opened a business profile that I'm working on. You can navigate between different slides using the pane on the left, while the space in the center is where you'll actually create and edit your presentation. At the top and to the left of the center pane, you should see two small rulers. These make it easier to adjust your presentation and align the objects on your slide. To show or hide the rulers, go to the View tab, then check or uncheck the box depending on your preferences. You can also turn on grid lines and guides for even more control over your slide layout. In the bottom right corner, you'll find a few more tools that let you change the way your presentation is displayed. Here's what the tools look like up close. To zoom in or out, click and drag the zoom control. The number next to the slider will tell you what the zoom percentage is. You can also switch between different slide views using these four buttons. Normal is selected by default. This mode is great for everyday tasks like creating and editing slides. Slide Sorter displays smaller versions of the slides in your presentation. Reading View hides all the editing tools to make your slides easier to review. And finally, Play Slideshow will play your slides as an actual presentation. Last but not least, I'd like to give you a quick tour of the Backstage View. You can get there by clicking the File tab. Just look for it on the far left of the ribbon. Here you can access all kinds of information related to your current presentation and more. This includes commands like New, Open, Save, and Print. All you have to do is click an item in the left pane, and it'll open on the right. This makes it easy to find what you're looking for and review your options all in one place. That covers the basics of PowerPoint. Now that you're comfortable with the interface, including the backstage view, the ribbon, and the work area, you're ready to start your first presentation. Thank you.